now we go to the to the filter function now the filter function it's also a high order function it takes in a function as an argument but it returns an iterable back so it's similar to the map function now here we have a function we are calling define good word meaning that if i pass in uh, the variable x it should be a string first of all then uh, it should this one will check whether it has a var it has vowels if it has a vowel it will return true it will check if the long enough will check if the length of the words are greater than seven if it's true then it will return true then if it starts with uh, if it starts with the word pre uh, then it will check and then it will return that it starts with uh, the word pre then it will check if it had now for it to return back true that's a good word it has to have a vowel be long enough and have a good start meaning that this function should return true and for it to return true according to this statement has a vowel long enough and good start should all be true so then i have my words here which are good presentation i mean good presentation preschool and prefix then i'm going to call my filter function for my filter function i have to pass in good word my function good word then again i have to pass in the iterable words now the reason why i pass in only one iterable is because it has only one one argument which is x so it means that you only have to pass one iterable if there are two arguments x and y then you have to pass in two iterables then after filtering it's going to put them in a list and then it's going to return it to the word uh, to the variable results then i'm going to print it out so if i print it out you can see that it has for me presentation and school so presentation and school are the only words which have vowels and are longer than seven and have a good start of pre so you can see that good of course let's go with good good has vowels okay but it's not long enough so here to return false so here to return true false and false so if you go to the boolean algebra then you can see if you go to true false false true false false gives you uh, false true and false and false gives you false now uh, you go to presentation presentation yes it has vowels okay it is longer than seven okay and it starts with pre okay and it's good that's why it is here presentation preschool has vowels it's longer longer than seven it has a good start of the word pre it's good prefix okay it has vowels okay but it's not longer than seven letters but it has a good start so true false true gives you false that's why it, it was not returned here so the this filter function it will take out it will take out uh, it will take out strings from the what from the list which do which when given to the function do not return true so if it takes out if it takes out a string from uh, the list gives it to the function and the function does not return true it will delete it out of the list that's what filter does so if it takes good gives it to the function and the function does not return to it true to filter true it's going to delete it from the list the same the same goes on so here this way you can put off your logic on what you want to delete and what you want to keep and that's what the filter function does